Hello everyone, this is Crota coming at you, giving you a game between Yumiko and Tho. Game 1 taking place here on Secret Valley. Yumiko spawning as the red human player on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, we have Tho spawning as the blue human. Tho versus Yumiko, I'm going to try and refer to them by color throughout the rest of this matchup since uh, both of them decided to not use their real names. Well, maybe Tho did, but... Tho's name is in Chinese, and I currently can't see it. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going to be happening here. And um, in this matchup, Secret Valley, one of those maps that does have two fountains in the corners. One down over here on the bottom right, one over here on the top left. Now, I'm going to speed this up to at least four times speed until the game does get underway. You guys have been hearing me cast for so long that I'm sure you guys don't want to hear my mindless banter. Also, this is taken from the iFang Cup, so iFang Cup still hosting tournaments out there. Always looking forward to more and more StarCraft and Warcraft 3 tournaments. I believe iFang is only doing Warcraft 3 tournaments, though, since this is based in China. Now, what's happening here, we are looking at Militia Creeping coming in from the Blue Human, and this is going to be a rather fast Militia Creep. Meanwhile, down over here, both sides doing the same exact strategy. It looks like a Tome of Agility was picked up by the Archmage. Meanwhile, down over here, it will also be a Tome of Agility as we do see the Surround go down. Gloves of Haste has been dropped. Meanwhile, for this Archmage, it is a Gloves of Haste, so this is a true Mirror Match. Both sides getting a rather early 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 um agility an additional plus one in armor i think so far things are looking pretty standard as the archmage now sitting at four armor that's actually i think a little high for a level two i'll have to take a look at all of my stats again as we're looking at the archmage here of tho being very very aggressive now this particular strategy is very dangerous as you're going to see that the archmage is going to try and hold the fountain while taking on the rest of the creeps now what's going to be happening here is that yumiko is going to come in and charge in instead as we now see tho attempting to run back all right red drake that water elemental looks like it could get purged down here any moment no the red drake deciding to leave it alone as we are now looking at footman running away yumiko the red human player has a slight advantage in the sheer number of footmen that i see so far meanwhile the blue human player is going to be trying to do some militia creeping here as well militia creeping off to the north and while trying to militia creep down here at the uh, east side of the map as well we are going to see level two on that archmage brilliance aura should be picked up here in just a second there you go as the archmage now seems a little bit confused as to where he should be traveling all right archmage now running headlong into this location here it looks like archmage is going to pick up a pure up of vitality a huge item item steal and this is going to be very problematic all right Tho is not looking up to shape as he now is forced to scroll of town portal away at 19 hit points there he goes a mantle of intelligence also being left behind so the only thing that Tho really did there was feed experience to his opponent now that is never ever a very very good thing at all as we're looking at the archmage at level two being forced to speed build this arcane vault in order to join back in the action meanwhile down over here yumiko taking this opportunity knowing that his opponent's archmage is relatively low on or extremely low on hit points he knows that his opponent is not going to be able to contest this and because he knows that his opponent's not going to be able to contest it, he can just freely clear out this creep camp in just a matter of seconds. All right, it looks like the water elemental may get taken down there. No, it, yes, it does get taken down, but I don't believe by the red, blue footman as we are looking at the rest of this no brood creep camp going to get taken down. So far, what's happening here? It looks like the archmage wants to get to level three and then perhaps try and execute a push of some sort. Meanwhile, the Red Drake being left behind, and Yumiko is already at level 3. Tome of Strength could be left behind there. No Archmage now going to pick that up. And now you see a level 3 Archmage as Water Elementals are being dropped from the north. This could be a rather dangerous move. All of a sudden, Tho is realizing the Blue Human player trying to run away. Is he going to be able to get away in time? It looks like he will off to the right, and now he is going to try and regroup. Taking a look at tech, we can see that the keep is already done for the blue. Meanwhile, uh, Yumiko, the red, is also done with a significant supply advantage. 
38 supply compared to 27 that is what almost a 20 or that is a 25 percent difference more than 25 percent difference in terms of the army sizes at this point as you now see an arcane sanctum actually in a little bit of trouble all right that archmage was most likely hoping to be able to push that water elemental through not going to be able to do so as the peasants are now trying to mass repair all right even though the they did get that arcane vault it is going to be a little bit of a shallow victory as two footmen go down in that battle and the archmage of his opponent now sitting at level three um, getting even more experience and still having a significant advantage 40 supply over 42 compared to 30 over 36 it is a 25 percent difference and even further now as the mountain king is looking to catch up to that water elemental oh the footman getting killed by his own water elemental there a bit of denial but still a very very nice play very good map awareness by yumiko uh, sorry by throw all right let's take a look at this though the blue human now getting up some casters he does have a panda so it is going to be a panda against um a mountain king mountain king better at solo targeting heroes meanwhile the panda is better against all of those footmen as we are going to see a now a, a surround breath of fire goes down but the panda completely surrounded with nowhere to run that is going to be a very bad day for him as the sorceress was the first unit panda at level one already falls as the sorceress could turn around and get a little bit more slowdown there is a storm bolt again and so many things just going wrong for the blue human though now in serious trouble as he's looking to back off here footman priest now trying to pull back as well that priest is rather low on hit points footman gonna go after the priest and it looks like one priest gonna get taken down yes a second priest already taken down as well so two priests down the water elementals now fighting back here once more slow cast on red's human uh, red's footman but they are still going to be able to back away as the spell breakers are now leading the charge all right spell breakers deal 13 to 15 damage that is rather that is rather strong for them since they are ranged and they do deal normal damage but i believe a footman versus a spell breaker if you have even supply i believe the footmen actually win because of their medium armor all right let's take a look at what's happening here all right ogre warrior you're gonna get taken down meanwhile the mountain king does have a potion of greater healing to his name he's gonna really really just lay waste to the opposing army if given the opportunity as sorceress and priest are still joining in with the rest of that group meanwhile blue coming in archmage also has a potion of greater healing as the panda now looks to regroup himself is the panda going to survive spellbreakers now making their way over and also the militia do have bloodlust courtesy of those spell breakers using that steel all right let's so far let's take a look at what's going to happen here water elemental is in a bit of trouble here mountain king has taken a little bit of feedback damage as well as one water elemental will get taken down there goes one and now this mountain king could try and put pressure once more the rest of the units are looking to back off here as the water elemental the spell breakers are still having a little bit of a scuffle in the center portion of the map mountain king trying to line up for a shot does not have one and now decides to back off water elemental now looking to engage decides that is is not a good place to be as the spell magic quickly takes down the water elemental giving the archmage that much more experienced for level four all right archmage now coming in here sells a quick item scroll of healing ready to go spellbreaker now rolling back and the mountain king is going to be pressing off to the um, to the front part once again all right that mountain king is sitting at level two there is a, a storm bolt there goes another blow there as the panda is not gonna oh, the panda is in a good spot does get off a fairly decent breath of fire but I don't know how effective that's ultimately going to be in the end. Archmage is now sitting at level 2. Level 1 Panda, level 3 Archmage. And there is no uh, Scroll of Town Portal. So anything that the blue human player does, he is going to be committing. All right. There you go. There is the Storm Bolt. And as you see the surround now come down, that poor, poor Panda is going to have a bad day. No Breath of Fire coming in as the Panda falls for the second time in this game. Now, as the Archmage 
and the Archmage Mountain King now duel head to head, uh, or I guess, or are just fighting head to head. You're looking at the Spellbreakers and the Priest now trying to pull back. The Spellbreakers are up front as well. Both sides dealing a significant amount of damage. And I think Yumiko, because he was able to hold on to a lot more of his footmen early on, is going to definitely take the advantage. Now, however, he does have to contest with Militia coming in from the other side. And Militia are indeed rather strong against Spellbreakers if given the opportunity. All right, are we going to see a Stormbolt? It looks like that Mountain King is pretty much out of mana, but still doing and laying waste to many of the units. Is that one Militia going to get taken down? No, it will not. As the Mountain King sitting at 50 mana is waiting for another Stormbolt. All right, here we go. There, there you have it. The Mountain King now trying to lead the way, seeing that 70 mana, and it is not going to be able to get, engage against all of these Spellbreakers here as the Archmage and the Panda both still sitting on the cusp of their next levels st um, being frozen by the Red Human Player. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, separated from the rest of the army. There is a quick Stormbolt onto one of those units there. Abolish Magic. Um, I believe that was a priest. And now you can see another Spellbreaker has been taken down. Units just constantly falling, falling here as the Archmage is trying to take down another Water Elemental. All right, the Water Elementals, their damage is starting, starting to wane as their numbers are getting weaker and weaker. And there is the GG Yumiko taking game one thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed game one